been a while, but with the holidays behind me, I'm back to hopefully bury this thoroughly beaten horse. And that horse is, of course, the amulet bug. I've seen plenty of comments, and even another video, that dispute my claims, but they all seem to not actually understand how the bug works. Which is understandable, as many different variations of the theory exist, ranging from amulets removing all luck to the theory that the bug was just part of the too much luck bug. So today, I'm going to explain the bug how I understand it to work after all of my testing, hopefully in clear enough language to dispel any confusion. And when I'm done, if you still don't believe me, that's fine, but at least you have a clearer picture of my theory. So let's start with the basics. The theory itself is that the adorned luck amulets provide negative luck when paired with other sources of luck. What I mean by that is that if you were to wear an amulet with 9% adorned skinning luck and a knife with 9% skinning luck, those two items would cancel each other out, leaving you with just your base luck. It's important to note that base luck provided by skill level is exempt from this, as is PvP luck. So you could wear an amulet while flagged with no other luck sources, and it would work just fine. But if you use food, trophies, armor, or a tool with the same skill luck as an amulet, the amulet effectively acts as a negative luck value, leaving you with less luck than if you just didn't wear it. This distinction is what I believe has caused the most confusion. Anyone who's set out to debunk this theory always figures the easiest way would be to wear an amulet as your only source of luck and compare drop rates to just not wearing the amulet. Hell, that's what I did as one of my very first tests after seeing this theory on the New World forums. But when the results from that test showed more drops on the amulet side, I decided to dig a little deeper. That's when I tried my counterbalance strategy. I'd balance out my amulet, either with a knife or armor pieces that added up to the same amount of luck as the amulet. If the amulet worked as intended, those tests should have had significantly more drops than my control group, where I only had luck from my skill level. But in reality, the drop rates were always nearly identical. I tested both the armor and the knife just to be sure it was the amulet giving the negative luck, and not one of the other sources. Since then, I've tested the amulet's effects on every other source of luck, trophies, food, and even PvP after that was added. Frankly, I was shocked PvP wasn't affected, as I assumed the game handled it like a buff but I guess not. The other thing I want to cover is just how impactful this bug can be. So let's talk numbers. If that's not your thing, go ahead and skip to the time on the screen for the summary. You're not missing much. First, let's set the scene. You're mining Orichalcum, looking for Tolvium, Cinnabar, and Voidor. I'll assume you're level 200 mining, have 2,000 luck food, PvP on, three houses with minor trophies, a 9% luck pick, and a full set of 4.5% armor. All this together gives you a healthy 116.5% mining luck. Not the best possible, but pretty good. With that much luck, your combined drop rate for Tolvium or Cinnabar is 9.62%, and the rate for Voidor is 1.15%. Now let's add a 9% amulet and see how that impacts those rates. First, assuming my theory is correct, by adding that amulet, we drop to 107.5% luck, lowering our chances at Tolvium or Cinnabar to 8.76%, and our Voidor chance to 0.96%. That's 0.86% lower odds for the rare ores, and only a 0.19% hit on Voidor. Honestly, it's not that big of a drop, but it would be noticeable over a few hundred nodes. Next, let's assume my theory is wrong and amulets work correctly. That 9% amulet would boost our luck to 125.5%, bringing with it a combined 10.47% chance at Tolvium or Cinnabar and a 1.35% shot at Voidor. Both of these changes are minor. The rare ore odds increase by 0.85% and Voidor goes up by 0.2%, about the same as last time. The differences are basically the same all the way up to max luck, and all the way down too, which means the lower luck you have, the more impactful or harmful the amulet could be. To demonstrate that, let's say you have 200 mining, a 9% pick, and no other sources of luck. That puts your mining luck at 29%, your rare odds at 1.1%, and your void ore odds at a whopping 0.03%. But when we add the amulet at this low of luck, the shift is significantly more noticeable. A functional amulet pushes us to 38% luck, with a 2% chance at the rare ores and a still very pathetic 0.08% shot at Voidor. Conversely, a bugged amulet would drag us down to 20% luck, bringing with it a lovely 0.2% chance at a rare ore and a 0% chance at Voidor. It's unclear if this is actual zero or just a number smaller than 0.01, but either way, you're basically never getting a Voidor with any of these three setups. Note how in this example, the difference the amulet made was still roughly the same percentage-wise, at least for the rare ores, but it had a way more devastating effect. It effectively doubled your shot at rare ores if it worked, but it would crush your odds into dust if it didn't. And as for void ore, yeah, that's just not going to happen either way. Numbers are fun and all, but how about a little example? I popped the void ore odds from the first example into a calculator to see how many nodes you'd have to hit to have a 90% chance of getting at least one void ore. With no amulet, you're looking at 200 nodes. A bugged amulet pushes that number up to 239 nodes, while a working amulet drops it to 170. So what was the point of all that? Well, basically to show the impact a single item makes. At low luck, yeah, every point matters and amulets being bugged can cause a massive swing in drop chance. But at very high luck, it's barely a factor. 
sure, there's a change to your odds, but wearing a broken amulet isn't the reason you didn't get a void ore after mining for hours on end. Void ore is just incredibly rare, and the slight reduction in luck doesn't really change that. Likewise, removing your amulet isn't going to result in massively increased drop rates either. The difference just isn't that big. Alright, let's try to summarize. Skill luck amulets work as intended if they're your only source of luck other than skill level or PvP luck. They provide negative luck when paired with other sources of luck such as armor, tools, trophies, or food. And if you don't believe me on that, that's fine. Go ahead and wear the thing. Either way, the impact isn't going to be that big, especially if you have a high luck value. Hopefully that helped to clarify things at least a little. I don't plan on mentioning amulets again until they fix them. I'll still test them every patch, so just assume if I haven't posted a video praising Bezos for fixing them, they still don't work. Or just ask me on any of my videos and I'll respond as soon as I see it. I'll also have links to all of my skinning data in the description for those interested. And that's it. I've wanted to better explain this bug for a while, and now seemed like as good a time as any. I had a few ideas for videos over the holidays, so I'll be putting out some stuff soon. I'm also going to be playing Lost Ark when it drops on February 8th. I've never tried it, but it looks neat, so if I like it, I might have some content for that game coming too. But all that being said, go ahead and do all those YouTube thingies, you know, yell at me in the comments, click all the little buttons, all that good stuff. And I'll see you all eventually.